Okay, so hello guys. Um, I am reviewing a very nice knife today. This is a Microtech. I'm not sure what type of Microtech it is right now. If you're wondering about the new background, it's because I'm in North Carolina, and it's the nicest knife I own. I got this at a knife shop named Knife Fly and Tackle. Um, it is a three hundred. I mean, a thousand dollar knife that I got for a hundred bucks or two twenty, I think. And as you can see. The action is very nice on it. Um, and it is called anodized aluminum. The reason it's called anodized aluminum is because it's a metal that's actually been dyed instead of just painted like some of the really cheap knives you see out there. Um, so when you are paying for or that much money, you're paying for the quality. So don't just buy, go get a counterfeit one of these and expect it to be as good as this with titanium scales and everything and top notch everything on it and um it's just really a good knife and also this is there's a reason this knife is called a double action otf it's because um you see that little hole right there watch very closely i don't care if you have to put it in slow motion but watch this so when you do that it shows that it is exactly what it says it is. It's an OTF, and um, that means out the front. And there are two different types of OTFs. There is one called a single action, and there's one called a double action. This one is a double action because you can go in, front, in, out, in, out. Um, and it's actually a really good knife. So, as I've said multiple times, um, the reason I would prefer a double action is because um, you can get um, a lot of purposes for this. Like, as you can see, I am opening and closing it all with one hand. And um, you can't really do that with, say, like, this little cheap 16, this little cheap $5 trash knife right here. Um, and also, you can just tell side by side the difference in quality between the two, like here. Let's prime. Yeah, I had to use two hands to close that, and that's all you have to do. Here, let's see the actions side by side. This one is definitely a lot nicer blade steel, too. It specifies which kind it is right in the little inscriptions at the bottom. And it's actually made relatively close to where I live. Um, It's um near Tryon, North Carolina, a very small town, and... um. The other thing I wanted to say is that you should not hand this knife to people who don't know knives because they will do this. They will stick their hand here, and when they push that button, as you see, it has so much force that when um, they will trigger the knife, it will go through their hand. And then they'll be like, oh my god, you're bullying on my knife. I'm going to sue you. Whatever, you snowflakes. I don't really care about you anyway. You probably deserve to get stabbed in the hand. I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? Crap, um. Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and share and comment and have a great day.